Hey performers, welcome back. I wasn't planning on doing this video today, but as I was shooting a different video, I got a nice comment from a musician friend on social media today. And it made me realize something that I want to talk about. I have a secret for you. I kind of suck as a musician, but most people don't think so. Let's dive into this a little bit more. Welcome back to Danny Robertson Music, where we try to help you become the best possible performer that you can be on whatever stage you choose. I'm Danny Robertson. Thank you for joining us again today. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel or join my email list at dannyrobertsonmusic.com. It goes a long way to helping me do more of these videos and making more content for you. So uh, very much appreciate that if you can. So like I said, I wasn't planning on shooting a video for this today, but the idea kind of hit me and I really wanted to talk about it because I think there's a lot of us out there that feel this way. So I want to start with a story. I played a show just recently uh, with a drummer that I had not previously done a show with, and he said something really nice about me on social media a few days after the show about how the stage presence was infectious and things like that. And it made me realize something about playing in high quality shows with other great performers. I personally don't feel that I am a particularly great piano player. Typically these days, I am not the sole keyboard player for a band. I am one of two or three that are an option to use for different gigs. Basically more of like a group of musicians that can be a single band or it can be three or four different bands in three or four different places. The other piano players in this group are phenomenal musicians. Phenomenal. Much, much better at solos and playing classically trained stuff than I am. I'm more of a keyboard hack as far as I'm concerned. I play chords, I can keep up with a band pretty well, but I'm not much of a soloist. But that's the reason why I wanted to point out this story is that regardless of where you are on your musical journey, you have something to offer to a live performance. And it may not be that it's your ability to play an instrument. It may be that you are really entertaining on stage. It may also be that you are particularly good at talking to a crowd and engaging a crowd. It may be that you're just a darn good dancer that has a lot of fun on stage and are something fun to look at for the audience. If you can, I'd love for you to do some soul searching this week. Think about yourself as a musician. What are your strengths? And what are your weaknesses when it comes to performing? Because everybody has strengths and everybody has weaknesses. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to talk about a couple of things that you can do to enhance yourself as a better performer. First thing, work on improving your ability on your instrument. That's the obvious one that most people would think to do. You want to become a better guitar player, you have to practice guitar. You have to stretch your limits on your instrument. That could be your voice, it could be a drum set, it could be a piano. What your limits are, are not necessarily what somebody else's limits are. So you need to find out where you can stretch yourself and how you can improve on your instrument. Second thing, work on your stage presence. What do you look like on stage? How do you carry yourself? Are you always looking down? Are you always watching your audience? Are you always smiling? Things like that help your overall performance. Believe it or not, smiling is one of the hardest things to do on stage for most musicians. So looking at your audience and smiling actually goes a really long way. That's what connects you with your crowd. Number three, work on your ability to talk. To your audience. Start planning out things to say when you have to engage your crowd. And whether you are the lead singer, the front man of the band, or if you're a solo musician, it doesn't matter where you fit on stage, 
if you feel comfortable talking to your audience, you should practice doing that. I played with a band for a lot of years where when we first started, we had five people and all five of us loved talking to the audience. And we were good at it because we could engage each other and engage our crowd. Finally, I'd say work on your humility. Every performer is great in their own way, and every performer could use a reality check in their own way, including me. I think we're all like that. Learn to go into each performance with a little bit of humility. Learn to realize that you're only as good as you are as a team. And if you're not working well as a team, you're not gonna be that good of a performer. I have played some fantastic shows with subpar musicians, mediocre, medium level musicians that all worked well together on stage. And I have played some train wrecks with top of the line musicians and performers who couldn't work as a team. So really learn to check yourself when you get to every gig. Learn that you are only as good as you are as a team. I think that's probably enough heartfelt message for this week. Thanks for listening to this one. I really appreciate it. If you can, subscribe or join my email list at dannyrobertsonmusic.com. And I wish you luck on your next best performance. In the meantime, have a great week and take care.